Wintry Oslo at 9 in the morning. Norway uses more electricity per capita than nearly anywhere else in the world. That high usage has driven some innovative research. Stotcroft is one of Europe's largest renewable energy producers. Its researchers are on the lookout for new sources of power. The principle of osmotic power is based on something that is uh, known from nature. It's uh, the process of osmosis. Water is the basis of osmotic power, and it's quite plentiful in the Scandinavian country. An osmotic power plant exploits the difference between river water's low salt concentration and the high salinity of seawater to generate energy. River water and seawater are separated by a membrane. The fresh water, shown in green, flows through the membrane to balance the salt concentration and pushes water to the top on the seawater side. That osmotic pressure can be used to run a power generating turbine. Theoretically, osmotic power plants could be located wherever rivers feed into the sea, as long as the river water isn't too brackish. How much water could I really withdraw from this river without creating a negative impact on the local environment? So we tried to analyze this all over the world. Putting this together, we see that the global potential is in the range of 1,600 terawatt hour per year. And if you compare that with annual energy consumption in Europe, the annual consumption in Europe is twice that amount, so it's, it's quite significant. The first osmotically generated electricity is coming from Oslofjord, a bay about an hour from the Norwegian capital. Project head, Stein Erik Skilhagen, is opening the world's first pilot osmotic power plant. An historic moment for the 38-year-old. Definitely, this is a tremendous day for me. It's uh, something that I've been working for for several years, so to finally be there is fantastic. And there it is. Norway's crown princess, Meta Marit, came for last November's opening of the osmotic power plant. It was the celebration of a major scientific achievement. Stein Erik Skilhagen explained how the power plant uses the natural process to generate renewable energy with no other waste product besides salt water. The river water and seawater flow in these pipes separated by a special rolled up plastic membrane. The thinner the membrane, the more efficient the energy production. The membrane, that is really the heart of the system. And uh, for human to design something very similar to nature has always been difficult. So uh, we are trying to improve ourselves to get close to where nature are. And that is to, to make the membranes very, very thin. A number of details still have to be worked out. Norwegian and other European researchers are combining efforts to make the osmotic power plant as efficient as possible. Today, the turbine at the pilot plant still produces only enough electricity to bake a cake. My personal wish is that we are able to learn a lot from this plant and to get on moving and hopefully within seven, eight years, someone are starting to earn money from osmotic power. Once the osmosis process has been properly harnessed, it may provide a major renewable energy alternative. Using nature's water resources, it's subject to less fluctuation than wind or solar power.